Jamaican people want better. Um, my presentation today is really going to focus on one point. And that point is accountability. And what made me decide to do that is I notice that every time a minister of government or a representative of the JLP administration talks about crime, the first thing they say is, let us not politicize crime. But what they were really saying is don't hold us accountable for the promises we made in 2015 when we came to people. So when Andrew Woody said in 2015, don't tell me that government can't do anything. There is a lot government can do to reduce crime in this country. We must hold them accountable for it. And of course, came to you promising that you could sleep with your windows and your doors open. So when they say we must stop politicizing crime, what they mean is they don't want us to hold them responsible for their own promises and for their own failure to perform in national security. The JLP has been in office for 11 of the last 15 years. Yet they keep going back decades to try and divert people's attention. When they knock down the people's houses in Clifton, they use the excuse that what about Operation Prime? Well, I feel proud when. Paul Buchanan set the record straight this morning about Operation Prime. And when they talk about which party politicizing crime, I want to ask Minister of National Security, Harris Chan, why in October he announced that the Prime Minister is going to, on Sunday, November 20th, indicate the government's plan to fight crime. What is happening on Sunday, November 20th? It is the Jamaican Labour Party conference. That is when announcement, while scores of people are being murdered in the morning of a week at party conference, for them try to use that to get the audience for them conference. That is politicizing crime. So let me just turn to the statistics because we need to understand what is going on. As of, as of midnight last night, up to November 5th, this year there, were, there was 1,329 murders in Jamaica. Two months to go, but already 1,329 murders in Jamaica. During the PNP's last term in office, at this point, we were never more than a thousand. They're already at 1,329. So it's more than 300 and odd additional murders every year under this administration, even though they promised you you could sleep with your windows and doors open and wake up a lot. St. Catherine South, your division, St. Catherine South, already 105 murders this year alone. And it's not just murder you have to worry about. Rape is up 35%. Shootings up, break-ins up 126%. And it's not because you leave your window and door open. People broke your house the same way, no matter how you lock it up. So, people will ask, what would the PNP do differently? And the first thing you have to look at is what did we do differently the last time we had the opportunity. Some of the things we did was on both the crime control and the crime prevention side. But an important thing we did was reduce friction between the youth in the community and the police. When then Minister of Justice Mark Holding 
decriminalized ganja and took away the stigma of a police record of tens of thousands of young Jamaicans in this country. The other thing we did, we believed in community policing. So, the St. Catherine South Division would have hundreds more police based here rather than based in specialized ops and peace stem that have not worked for the people of Port Moore. All the resources are concentrated in these centralized units that have been abject failures. The peace stem public safety and traffic enforcement branch has been a failure. How many of them high visibility vehicle and thing you see over in Port Moore in the mornings when the traffic parking up? None. Since they have been formed, road traffic deaths have moved from a range of 300 to 400 where they were for two decades to now to an, an additional 100 deaths on the road have increased by 25% since the, this division was formed. It is an abject failure and a waste of resources. They have misallocated funds, increased the size of the JDF by thousands, created decentralized units, and the divisions are starved of resources, which is why the criminals have been run of the place day and night. You don't even have to wait till night now for murders to take place day or night. Apart from correcting those operational and policy allo resource allocation issues, under a PNP government, we would balance it with social investment, better schools, better housing, better garbage collection, better infrastructure, better social services in communities, putting violence interrupters to reduce conflict between groups in the communities. Time come for the people of Port Moore to get a safe and secure community.